There are dozens of other significant active wildfires in B.C. besides Port Hardy. The biggest concern right now is just east of Kelowna, where the Huckleberry, or Joe Rich, fire exploded yesterday afternoon. There are 142 properties under evacuation order, 158 under evacuation alert. People there must be ready to leave their homes with just a moment's notice. 60 firefighters, two helicopters and eight tankers are working on this blaze, which is highly visible from a long way away, Highway 33, even in Kelowna itself. There are homes located in close proximity, but the good news, the wind was calm last night and calm enough this morning for crews to continue to gain the upper hand. But this is a fluid situation. It is continuously being monitored by the BC Forest Service. Displaced residents are trying to find somewhere to live in the meantime. Those evacuees, many of them have been sent to the Willow Park Church in the Rutland area of Kelowna. Emergency Social Services is providing food, clothing and shelter to as many people as they can. Nidu Garcha reports. Vehicles full of evacuees streamed into the Willow Park Church parking lot in Kelowna after the Huckleberry Fire and Joe Rich threatened their homes. And I'm worried for the horse, for sure for the horse and all, my, all our stuff, yeah, because we'll lose everything. But it, yeah, we're really, really worried. We have two houses up there that we just might lose. Policemen came around and said, you need to get out. The wind had moved, so like I, from the deck, could see orange colored smoke. Emergency support services ready to provide food, clothing and as many places to stay as they can offer. It's going to be tight. There are very few hotel rooms available, so we're encouraging people to find, you know, friends to stay with or family to stay with. Uh, we will try and get them accommodation if they have nowhere to go, but they may be in group lodging. Many of the evacuees that we are speaking to here today say they're very worried for their homes and their belongings, but at this point, they're just grateful to have made it out okay. We're also thankful that we're out safe, and we are praying that the fire can contain itself. We've got our dog and our cat out. We had all their medication. We already have a system set up so that if this happens, we're, we can just grab and go. And the whole situation isn't taking many of these people by surprise. You get accustomed to, to just accepting the fact that there's going to be a fire, especially when you live in a fire zone, so you're always ready to leave. We knew it was a risk and people have told us about 2003 and other stuff, but we were praying that it wouldn't happen and it has. Nitu Garcha, Global News, Kelowna.